All right, what's going on, my beautiful people out there, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram land? This video today is going to be a little bit different because my setup is somewhat um, disjointed because of a lot of things that I've been doing here in my little home studio. But I have purchased a new addition to my running gun rig. This is for my A camera, my A7 III, and it is a new rig for the full-size uh, camera body, and that's with the battery grip. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the installation and my first impressions of the small rig full size uh, cage for this specific camera. Let's get to it. beautiful people here we go here we go so like I said before this is my Sony a7 R3 and it has the full Sony battery grip on it right now it's sporting a uh, Sigma 35 1.4 which is a pretty good combination for shooting video especially for a little running gun so this will get you done pretty good but the problem that I've run into even when I'm flying this or attempting to fly this on the gimbal, is that it's almost impossible to mount anything else onto this camera body. I am not a fan of mounting anything directly onto the uh, flash shoe because I've had problems with that in the past with my Nikons and I don't want to go through that a second time. So I think the best solution is always going to be to put these camera bodies into some type of cage or some type of system that allows you to protect it and then still mount your uh, accessories that you may need like uh, for instance a Ninja V or a top handle or follow focus whatever it may be you want some very very sturdy system to mount this gear to so that's what we have today let's take a look at what we got in the box so this box right here literally just arrived on my doorstep from um, Amazon this is obviously small rig this is their old boxing style and this box um, is probably before they you know came up with the new uh, very artistic boxes that they're doing now so there's nothing fancy about these very very simple packaging and that's pretty much it here's the box So, in our small rig bag, let's see what we have here. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be no different. I mean, absolutely no different than um, the cage that's currently on my other Sony camera. Other than the fact that this one is designed to fit the camera body with the grip in, in, uh, installed. And the reason why I wanted a cage like this is primarily because of the fact that um, one of the problems that I've run into numerous times is going to be battery solutions. So with the addition of this battery grip, you have the ability to run two of the Sony batteries at any given time in the body. Plus, it gives you some other, you know, benefits, you know, to as far as, you know, uh, vertical control versus your horizontal controls. So you're able to flip the camera in a num number of different uh, directions, depending on what it is you're, you're photographing or, you know, taking video of. Now, the cage itself, very much like um, the previous cage that I showed you guys, you know, that I put on the uh, Sony a7R2. But again, like I said, this one is designed for the full size rig. Let's see if this lens will fit in. And I need to lower this little screw. That doesn't come all the way out, I don't think. But let me try to take that out first completely just to be safe. OK, 
Okay, that's far enough down, so we're good. Now also, if you're not familiar, there's another little screw that's right here that you would use to secure your strap loop to make sure that this is going to be secure onto the camera itself at all times. And then you can tighten it up, but not, like I said, not all the way because you still want to adjust for this screw that's going to go in here. So you're going to line that one up also. Hopefully it won't pop out on me. We can get that started. Because once that one's in, that's pretty snug. Now we can then tighten the bottom screw completely. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, even with this cage on, you still have the ability to um, pull your battery if you needed to. Or in the case of what I'm using it for, you have a number of different you know, mounting points that you can mount different things to this camera, you know, including a microphone or a monitor a top handle, whichever it's going to be. Now, do not be, you know, concerned so much about the additional weight. It is a little bit heavier, but for the benefits that I think you get from this, from being able to, at this point now, mount a number of different things to this, and the added protection that this adds to your investment, it's worth, far, far worth, more than you pay for it. Now, this cage was 139 if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, I will definitely post it, you know, in the video like I do all the times before. But like I said, for the investment that you're trying to protect and the advantages that you're trying to obtain from this, I think this is a very, very good solution for exactly what it is you're going to be using it for. So if you're going to be recording video, this is going to give you a much more stable connection to the camera and then once you add a handrail or a top rail handle or something like that that's just going to give you that much more control so that you can get those really stable shots and once you add your monitor to this and I will add some photos at the end of the video showing you exactly how I finally um, um, set up this entire rig because right now I am recording directly into the Ninja 5 uh, via the uh, Sony a7R2 which is recording this audio and video right now but what I will do is I will take this apart that some of the components off of that and add it to this rig here to show you exactly what this rig will look like completely rigged out and you'll find those clips at the end of the video okay guys well like I said I wanted to make this a really quick short down and dirty video to show you exactly what I've done so far so hopefully if you are running a Sony a7 III, Sony a7R3, or um, A9, this same cage will work for your camera. So you're good to go. And for, from my perspective, this is far worth the investment. You know, the money that you spend for this will pay off in, in, in droves. You know, for just the security, the safety, and the ability to add, you know, necessary accessories to your rig. And then think about it like this. If you decide to upgrade your camera at some point and you're going to be selling this gear, this is another thing that you can, you know, add to sweeten the pot, you know, for the next person who's going to purchase that beast from you. It's a win-win scenario. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will do my best to get to them. If you have any, um, ideas for our future videos you know feel free to also leave those in the comments but until then i will catch you guys in my next video it's been your man Rome. peace i'm out